Good afternoon, and welcome to our latest Instagram live series, Mother Talks. I'm Osama Al Uthman, and I'm head of business development and investment for the GCC India and Americas in Mazdar Clean Energy. Today's session will focus on a DAFRA solar PV independent power producer project, which was announced by Emirates Water and Electricity Company, known as EWIC, in July last year. This groundbreaking project is being developed by a consortium that includes Abu Dhabi National Energy Company, known as Taqa, and Mazdar, along with partners EDF and Jinko Power, for a sustainable future for all, for all in the UAE. Allow me to welcome Mr. Shalish Montiero, who's joining us today, who is the head of business development uh, at Taqa to discuss this interesting project. Shalish, thank you for joining us today. Good afternoon, Osama. Thank you for having me. It's exciting to have the opportunity to talk about this special project. Shalish, indeed. I mean, uh, this is a very, very interesting uh, project, and it's a special project uh, at a capacity of two gigawatt. This project is the single largest single uh, solar park, and will help to advance the diversification of energy of, of UAE's energy mix. But it will also help economic diversification and attract foreign investments and funding. Shalish, maybe you can tell us a few words about this pioneering project and the technology used. al is a significant project, breaking records in many aspects, as well as being the largest single site solar PV in the world using bifacial technology. It, is, um, it will reduce carbon emissions by 2.4 million tons per year. The 2050 UA energy strategy aims to increase clean energy resources deployment to 44% of the energy supply mix. Aldafra will be a great contribution to this target while helping to reduce uh, carbon emissions. Economically, Aldafra has uh, recorded the lowest, uh, world's lowest uh, competitive tariff for solar PV. Solar continues to we improve the cost competitiveness, accelerating the deployment of green energy solutions such as hydrogen. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you, Shalish. Uh, DAFRA is a great example of how collaboration between UAE companies can advance the, country, uh, the country's energy goals. Mazdar is extremely proud to be involved in this landmark project in, in Abu Dhabi. And we believe it showcases the UAE's commitment to sustainable development and climate change mitigation. Now, of course, uh, Shalish, uh, it will have a significant environment benefit. Uh, maybe it's, it's, it's for the benefit of all the uh, audience here, if you can shed some light on, on the environmental benefits that this, this project will bring. Certainly for sure, Osama. We are lucky to be in a country that has made firm commitment for combating climate change. As an Abu Dhabi entity, we have responsibility to support the national targets. But also from an investment perspective, what markets and investors are looking for is green investment related opportunities. In addition, Taka has embarked on developing his first sustainability report this year, publishing his targets for 2030 carbon emission targets. We all have a role to play nationally and as global citizens to combat climate change and accountable and transparent when it comes to emissions. Aldafra will make significant contributions, as I mentioned earlier. It will reduce the carbon dioxide emissions by 2.4 million metric tons per year. That is equivalent to displacing nearly half a million cars off the road. Excellent. It will provide clean energy to power around 160,000 households, reducing the reliance on conventional sources of energy. 
Excellent. Yeah, I mean, I agree with you. I think, uh, I mean, everybody has a role uh, in, 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 in mitigating the, the environment and protecting the environment of the planet that we live uh, on. Uh, now, this project, I mean, also, I mean, over and above the, the, the environmental benefit, it will also bring uh, a support to, to Abu Dhabi's knowledge and economy. And this can be uh, demonstrated by bringing some added benefit to the surrounding communi community, which we are pleased to contribute to as Masdar. Now, the project is making good progress to date. The consortium announced financial close last December, and we are on target for the commercial operation next year. Maybe, Shalish, it's good to uh, explain a bit about what activities are happening on the ground and on the site, uh, what will be the next activities and, and, uh, and uh, exercises that we'll be taking over the coming few months. We are preparing, we are entering in the construction phase, which means uh, we'll be preparing foundations uh, for delaying uh, foundation into the ground. There will be a placement of panels and robotic cleaners uh, once the panels are installed. Then, of course, there will be a great deal of testing to ensure safe and reliable operation of this facility. All the consortium members have been through this process before through participation of uh, landmark Abu Dhabi Al Noor project. So, there are a lot of lessons learned. So, we already have so many great lessons we can apply on this important project. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, no, in, indeed. I mean, I remember a uh, long time ago, uh, probably uh, more than 10 years ago, when, when Mazdar announced uh, the 10 megawatt uh, PV plant. Okay. At that point of a time, it was the region's first and largest solar PV plant of its kind. Today, Mazdar is celebrating its 15th anniversary of, of, of founding. And when we look back at the development of solar in the country and globally, we are very proud to be playing a role in the development of the country's largest single site solar park. I mean, this is definitely, it's, it's a landmark for a uh, project for, uh, for Mustard. This will also make an important contribution to our climate change, mitigation and renewable energy goals. Shalish, at this point, I would like to thank you for sharing your thoughts with, with us today. We are excited to see the project take shape over the next few months, and we look forward to the project being operational in 2022. Dear audience, for the latest news on the DAFRA project, you can visit Mazdar News website, news.mazdar.ae. Thank you, Shalish, and thank you all for joining us today. And we look forward to seeing you for the next Master Talk.